the previous video, I defined GIS and GI science. In this video, we'll take a brief look at why you should learn GIS. I get asked this question quite a bit. Why should I learn GIS? Well, there are many broad reasons and some specific reasons, which we will cover in part in this video, but also in other videos as we move through the content. One of the things to start with is that GIS is incredibly powerful and with that power comes the ability to help people make informed decisions. So how does it do that? Well, it does it by allowing us to organize spatial data, to analyze spatial data, and to visualize spatial data that reveals patterns and relationships and trends that aren't immediately obvious from raw data alone. It's much easier to understand a complex data set when displayed as a map as opposed to rows and columns in a spreadsheet. GIS is very good at analyzing spatial relationships. Earth's natural systems are complex. Human patterns and systems are complex. And the interaction between human systems and natural systems is complex. We live in a world of big data. GIS allows for new ways of seeing patterns and trends and insights, and we can leverage large data sets to help us understand phenomena, relationships, and to make decisions based on the analysis done using GIS. GIS is very good at supporting decision making. By providing a way to analyze and visualize data, GIS can help leaders make informed decisions. For example, where to build a new school, how to respond to a natural disaster, where to target conservation efforts. Governments, businesses, nonprofit organizations all use spatial data and insights from using spatial data for making critical decisions. GIS provides a practical means to present and analyze data that can lead to more informed decisions. Another great strength of GIS is that GIS is inherently interdisciplinary. It combines aspects of geography, computer science, statistics, and other fields, which makes it a valuable tool for anyone interested in working in an interdisciplinary field. Here are just a handful of examples of fields where GIS is used as part of day-to-day -day operations, analyses, research, and so forth. GIS applies beyond the field of geography, but to society as a whole. It's an incredibly valuable tool for a wide range of things. GIS is used to solve problems. This is a great strength of GIS, like in disaster management, where we might map disaster prone areas and plan evacuation routes. In public health and safety, where we might reduce response times for emergency vehicles, track the spread of disease, analyze crime patterns and hotspots. In urban planning, where we might analyze population, land use, transportation networks and environmental impacts to make decisions about where to locate a new road or library or park. GIS is used in transportation and logistics to optimize delivery routes, to reduce delivery time and fuel consumption and carbon emissions. GIS is used in environmental analysis to monitor wildlife habitats to track changes in land use. GIS is used in agriculture to determine the best crops to plant for a location or optimize the application of fertilizers and pesticides. GIS is used extensively in real estate to analyze property values and trends. Another thing that I get asked a lot about is careers in GIS. There are many, many, many jobs in GIS right now. It's a cutting edge technology that continues to grow and is in demand, as are the people who have the skills to use GIS. GIS is used by governments and industries. The demand for GIS professionals not only is high, but it continues to grow. Here's a simplified breakdown that comes from GIS Geography, who did an article on salary expectations. At the low end, the $40,000 to $60,000 range, 
These are jobs for GIS technicians and cartographic technicians, land survey technicians. A GIS specialist or GIS analyst or LIDAR analyst will make a bit more than that. Geospatial intelligence analyst, a senior GIS analyst, a GIS developer it can make over 75000 a year depending on your location. And at the high end, you're going to have GIS administrators, software engineers, project managers, and so forth. There is a hierarchy of GIS careers that's out there. There's upward mobility in GIS careers. You can have a job which integrates GIS into a specific occupation. And you can see here that this is a generalized breakdown of salaries that you might find.